Yes, sir. My trigger. Back up in this thing, man. Today, I'm reacting to some creepy videos that proves the rabbit hole goes deeper than we can imagine, man. We got a lot to cover today, so let's hop straight into the video. Remember Malaysian Airlines? Oh, yeah. The flight that disappeared, right? Oh, yeah. You heard about it on the news. Like, Malaysian Airlines, this flight disappeared. Nobody knew where it went. Mm -hmm. And so many conspiracy theories happened, right? But around that same time, there's this guy that received a voicemail. And on the voicemail was like a decoded message. He posted this on Twitter. You know the military alphabet yeah. where they use code? Okay, yeah. So like Delta, Tango, Alpha, Charlie, right? He recorded this whole code and wrote it out. Now the voicemail, it translated to this code that says S danger, SOS. It is dire for you to evacuate. Be cautious, they are not human. And then gave like a whole long number, yeah. 042933, like long number, right? Yeah, yeah. Now check this out. When this guy received this voicemail okay. was the day that the Malaysian Airlines flight vanished. There's theories and conspiracies that the voicemail he actually received was transmitted through the Malaysian Airlines black box. I feel like there's been several strange details like this that have surfaced about this missing flight. But regardless, with modern technology, we should not be able to lose a whole Boeing. <laughs> It seemed like he was joking, but his partner looked kind of shocked, almost like she was surprised that he slipped up like that. We're not going to blatantly say that Smurfs are evil. We're just saying that they have all of these overtones that are leading that direction. Well, let's take another look at Smurfs. Because the Smurfs cartoon, the whole uh, storyline, is that the Smurfs get in trouble. And every time they get in trouble, they run to Papa Smurf, who whips up a spell or an incantation to get them out. In fact, he said the name Beelzebub numerous times in the cartoon. And he whips up this spell, spell or incantation and, and draws them out of their problems You're through kidding. witchcraft. And then they have an enemy called Gargamel. Now, Gargamel, in a recent episode, I saw him draw a five-pointed star, the pentagram, on the ground. Right. He lit candles at each point, which is an actual witchcraft practice. He started to dance inside the pentagram, chanting a magical chant. At that point, a book opened up across the room, and something left the book and entered his physical body, giving him power to levitate and to to do battle against the Smurfs. I never followed the Smurfs, so I don't know if this is a recurring theme or how bad these scenes were, but it seems unnecessary for a children's cartoon. 2025, not only America, but the entire planet. Yo, check this out. The protection and the dominion of this power alliance. The gains have been substantial. Listen. Both for ourselves and for you, the human power elite. <laughs> Remember when this movie came out in 89? 89 this movie came out. Look at this. Listen. You have given us entree to the resources we need in our ongoing quest for multidimensional expansion. And in return, the per capita income of each of you here tonight has grown. And this year alone, by an average 39%. And I've just received word that our forces have won a major victory. The underground network has been destroyed here on the West Coast. We are all crisis alert. The situation is normal again. <laughs> I know this is just a movie, but they say art imitates life. I just hope it doesn't apply in this situation. Hey, I'm going to show y'all something, man. This is crazy, right? All right. Mechanically separated chick. Now watch this. Mechanically separated does not explain why it looks like it has the same consistency as toothpaste, bro. My stomach bubbling just looking at it. Hey.
Ahí, atrás, Mar. Es una nube, en serio. Mark, acá. No sabemos qué sea, papi. Avanza por acá, por acá. No lo toques. No, no. Lo... ¿Qué es eso? Ni de otro. It's most likely just some foam from a party or something. They could have helped confirm it by touching it, but they probably did the smart thing by just leaving it alone. There's a viral video surfacing the internet of Katy Berry doing something strange at one of her concerts. Now, I don't know if this is scripted and it was just part of the show, and even if it was, I still find it very interesting. Let me know what you guys think about this. be a part of this show but okay find it disturbing that AI have already developed the ability to dance around questions like this. It's like one of the first things they learned was how to manipulate conversations. Everyone knows there are 33 degrees to Freemasonry. The 33rd degree satanic occult Freemasons are the one that control this world. This is Freemason art. There are 33 steps to the top. Almost all of the United States presidents were 33rd degree Freemasons except for people like JFK. Surprise, surprise. Now let's look at the United Nations logo. There are 33 sections to this logo. And then they put the flat earth map right in the middle, right in your face. They are laughing at how stupid you guys are. All of these are flat earth maps. Now I want you to listen to this 102 year old lady. 102. 102, so you were born in? 1918. 1918. And um, we were just talking and I asked Whoa, so she was taught in school what all of our ancestors knew before the Freemasons came in and brainwashed all of you guys? And they put it in your face just like this. been played i don't think a scene from an animated disney movie proves anything but the 102 year old lady saying she learned it in school and in the united nations map definitely has me questioning you've probably seen countless videos of people that appear to be headless in the philippines it's actually a sign of a bad omen and it's called a walang ulu signus check some of these videos out <laughs> this next video was recorded at a school gym. Very close. 
people's attention. This next video, a group of people are enjoying a party. When this happens, check this out. Pay very <laughs> This video, a group of boys are doing a TikTok dance when they capture this on camera. What the heck? The third clip, you can see ripples in the background as if the video was edited. Plus, if this was real, this would be headline news all over the world. Hey, so I believe in Mandela effects. I think they're 100% real, 100%. I've never had one happen to me overnight where it completely changed my reality, okay? Like a kid from the 90s or the early 2000s, I was into Pokemon, okay? There's this rock-type Pokemon, kind of looks like a snake. His name's Onyx, all right? My whole life, memory, everything. His name is spelled O-N-Y-X. Always been that. I watched a compilation video last night that said his name is spelled O-N-I-X. I said, that's I boot up the game, I go inside, I go through my Pokemon, it says O-N-I-X. Literally... My it's always been O N Y X Onyx to me, man. Let me know what you guys remember. But pay attention to the lower right hand corner. You're going to see something come into the field of view that looks like, you guessed it, a white cylinder object in the daytime sky that just cruises across the, the freeway. You see the shadow over here? Leaves a shadow on the ground that tells us the sun was up here in the upper left hand part of the, the field of view and the shadows are consistent on the craft. You can see the, the dark side of the craft is over here on the right, same side as the, the shadow on the ground, so it's definitely there, whatever it may be. Looks like the other cylinders that we saw in the other locations, Indiana, Las Vegas, and Michigan. But this view here was up closer, actually above the craft, looking down from the sky. If I had to, to guess, I'd say that's somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 to 40 feet long. It has some sort of weird features coming off of the sides. They don't look like they're moving. I find it interesting that ever since the Navy confirmed UFOs and we had all those whistleblowers, and all of a sudden we got all this 4K footage. Have you heard of the Moon Knight people? No. There's all these legends across North America of these people with fair skin, light hair, and pale eyes. This legend starts in Wales. There's a civil war breaking out. Prince Maddox, he didn't want to die by his brother's hand. He's like, I'm going to go explore. Goes to North America, but is never seen again. 500 years later, there's a missionary from Wales, Morgan Jones. He lands in South Carolina, starts doing mission work. The natives capture him. He's about to be. He yells out, I've escaped so many perils. Have I done so to like a dog. dog. That's when the chief comes out. The chief is a small, pale skinned, big eyed, light haired human who comes out, walks up to him, and says, You shall not die today. What's crazy is that he spoke perfect Welsh. Wow! <laughs> That's crazy. It gets even crazier. There's an establishment in Illinois called Cahokia. Six square mile city, 40,000 people. The way it was built matches how things were built in Wales. The only thing that I can think of is that maybe Prince Maddox, when he got to North America, lived amongst the natives, taught him the Welsh ways and the Welsh language. Black bugs were out in full force this, this weekend, and hundreds strong. of you told us that you woke up with red welts because of them. News Channel 15's Hannah Strong joins us now in studio with some answers about those mysterious bugs. They go by many names. No my new pirate bug, sand flies, but these bugs can fly and bite. One of the biggest problems, though, is how small they are. They're called no seums because you often don't see them until it's too late. If you're outside, bug spray doesn't always work to repel these pests, so you should try baby oil or essential oils. Of course, the best bet is to wear long sleeves and pants. Just like mosquitoes, these bugs thrive in standing water, so make sure you rid your property of anything that would collect water. Even if you're inside, you still need to watch for these bugs. These might be more annoying than mosquitoes and gnats, bro. At least with those, you can see them and repel them with bug spray. I'm gonna have to cop an extra bottle of baby oil just for the no seams. Have you ever seen something like this? Pay attention to this. What is going on here? How is that just moving? And when he moves, it stops. And it stop as soon as he starts moving, it stops moving again. Y'all see that? Huh? 
plan is really shifting, y'all. Look at that. Mud floods? Mud floods? It looks like a landslide. I just don't know if I've ever seen one on that magnitude. The entire forest just relocated itself. The 2012 Olympics opening ceremony has to be one of the most creepiest performances I have ever seen. I'm talking about the one done by the National Health Service. The performance starts with hundreds of hospital beds all over the stage and there's nurses reading them bedtime stories before they go to bed. After they're done reading them the bedtime story, they eventually tuck all the kids into bed. Once this is done, they do this interesting little dance and then it cuts to the scene where there's this girl under her covers reading a book and when everyone's asleep the demons start to come out the camera keeps cutting to her and then to the demons as they multiply alongside other creepy things guessing this is a big cage to trap everyone the girl that was reading the bedtime story then gets lured up by this massive demon that spawns out of nowhere say what you want i don't care what children's book or children movies this is from this is flat out creepy demons then make their way to the children's bed scaring them and making them run away then the nurses become like possessed they all start doing this weird robotic motion of dancing. The stage was made up of newspaper headlines and there were subliminal messages all over the flooring. It's hard to read them, but you can go watch the original video and look at them yourself. This is just suspicious because the Olympics is primarily a sporting event. I don't know how a giant cage and a demon pertain to sports at all. That's probably why people read deeper into it. The worst traffic jam in history had people stuck in their vehicle for days. If you're thinking of the viral LA one from Thanksgiving of 2011, that would have been a blessing compared to the one China had in 2010. China's National Highway 110 introduced a new checkpoint that merged 50 lanes into 20 during a very busy holiday week. That resulted in a 60 mile long jam, but drivers were only able to move their vehicles about half a mile per day. Some drivers were reportedly stuck in traffic for five days before they were able to make it out. During that time, locals near the highway took advantage of the situation and would sell stranded drivers water, instant noodles, and cigarettes at a massively inflated price. Typically, a bottle of water costs around 14 cents. They were being sold to drivers at $2.06. The jam lasted for 12 days before it finally cleared up. If they never covered this on the news, there would be no way to convince your boss that you missed five days of work because of a traffic jam. Allegedly shows a mysterious creature encountered by a jogger in a mountainous rural area. As the camera focuses on the path ahead, a strange looking dark creature can be seen crouching on the pathway. It looks like two black bear cubs or a thick bobcat or something. Whatever it is, he's smart for keeping his distance. Video of a Bigfoot filmed from a train in Colorado. All right, just squat it down. Yeah, let me see your camera. I'll do it. It gets better because I got a closer view. There he is. Walking in the grass, looking at the train, sitting down, watching the train. That's a Bigfoot, Booskies. That's a Bigfoot. But it gets even better because I got a view that's closer and slowed down. Here he is, skeet scabbing and jib jabbing, taking a little walk, and he turns, sees the train, so he decides he's going to sit down and watch the train. I sit down and watch the train, but that ain't me. That's not a person. That's not a bear. That's a Sasquatch. That's a Bigfoot, Booskies. That's clear as day, Booskies. The arms sort of look longer than normal like you would expect to see. I'm just questioning why the Bigfoot would be so elusive for all these years just to expose itself to a train full of people. This video was shared on social media of a father and son riding in an elevator. My son is talking to ghosts. What? He just said yeah. the boy's in here. Since he's still a fetus, I really didn't understand what he meant. Watch what happens next. Right above you. What is that? On the wall. I must be tripping because it Whoa. seems like he doesn't even see it. Oh, yeah, uh, do you see that? What? Bro. What? I can kind of believe this one because I feel like kids are more in tune and clairvoyant to spirits, but this would be the point where little buddy would have to go to daycare to get some real friends. I'm not saying history is a lie. I mean, his story is a lie. 
what you know about Australia. Oh my days. So, according to the official narrative, the first settlement at Sydney consisted of about 850 convicts and the Marine Guards and officers, led by Governor Arthur Phillip. They arrived at Botany Bay in the first fleet of nine transport ships accompanied by two small warships in January 1788. So let me see if I got this straight. You're trying to tell me by the 1800s, those ex-convicts and marines went on to build buildings like this with just a hammer and chisel. And it wasn't just a one building flats. It was a whole city. What? Let, let me see if I got this straight. The official narrative said this is the first building made in 1793. And you're trying to tell me that they went from this to buildings like this in what 50 60 years no power tools just horse and a wagon this photo is from 1804 just over 20 years after the first settlers arrived who were ex-convicts and military men and the building fully complete i'm gonna have to do a three-part series on this I ain't finished with Australia yet. The buildings in those pictures would be difficult to build today, even with all the heavy equipment we have available. So I don't know how they did it in the early 1800s, convict or not. Hi, Mr. Christian Jerson. Pleasure. How you doing? I just wanted to know, uh, what what do you mean when you, you said uh, illegal? We do immediately. Unconstitutional takes a little longer. The WikiLeaks document. What do you mean by that? Uh, come on. No, 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 I mean, it came out weekly. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's another stuff on it. In it. Do you uh, know the agenda of the Bilderberg? What? what are you doing this for? I'm just, I'm, I'm here covering this event. Just wanted to talk oh. to you. Uh, we are change. And okay. we want to know maybe what the agenda of the Bilderberg group meeting is going to be in a couple oh, days. Do you know? Get lost, please. Uh, how does it feel Let's winning get the... Lost. I'm sure he was annoyed by those questions, but I feel like you only get angry that quickly when you got something to hide and you're trying to deflect. Locke bought the chair online. But she never noticed the eerie outline of a man in the chair until it was delivered to her home in Oklahoma and she tried to resell it. I put on there, beautiful chair, nothing wrong with it. <laughs> and that's what really grabbed the attention of all the viewers. People were commenting, yeah, except there's someone that, damn it, someone that, damn it. <laughs> It is reminding lots of people of the terrifying chair in the movie The Conjuring. <laughs> and also a scene from The Invisible Man. And his arms come down and you can even see right here that his, you can see where the hands would have like been like this. This is intriguing to me. You can see where the legs have been. She's now settled on keeping the chair. She's even given it a name. Henry. If she ever had a get together at her house and this is the only seat available, I'm just gonna sit on the floor, bro. I'm not sitting on Henry. This footage right here literally is the reason I never ever want to leave my house again. Me and my husband don't really get to get out much together, so we hired a babysitter and went out to dinner. And my phone had an alert, and this is what we saw on the doorbell. We called our babysitter and told her to go into the master bedroom and lock herself in the bathroom told her basically nothing's wrong just a precaution and we left the restaurant and came right home but on the way home of course i'm watching this god i don't know what was said the whole video recorded as white noise but clearly she has something in her hands and it looks like a baby and there's a storm outside i don't know what her intentions were until we saw what she did at the end but before that she's just staring up into the sky there was no rain, it was just thunder and lightning, constant. I had the babysitter on speakerphone on the way home while I'm watching this happen. We tried to reassure her and let her know that the police were on their way, it won't be too long. What I saw next made my heart drop. The thing we can see her holding here that looks like a baby was a doll. She must have been using it as a prop to get into people's houses. It's creepy enough that she's standing outside with a baby doll in the middle of the night trying to get in, but the lightning just adds a Ghostbusters element to it. <laughs> the 
the getaway is gonna be a little slow, but I gotta give them a 10 out of 10 for creativity. If they applied that to anything else, they wouldn't even need to steal a package. But with that being said, guys, y'all take care of yourself.